So hello, everybody. We've said goodbye to the faces who are holding meditative space in the background. We said goodbye to changing woman. I explained that for whatever reason, I've got this, um, it's not even a tickle. It's just a little ah, 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 in my throat. So I'm hoping that it doesn't fly. I just finished a fisherman's friend. So I'm hoping that that keeps it under control. Um, but if it doesn't, I will mute. So if the music goes off at some point during the meditation, no worries. Just keep connecting with the goddess and it will come back on again. So who have we got? I am so happy about this. <clears throat> we have baths. Look at that smiley face. So let me just pull her up here. And, oh, and she's lovely and large. Okay. <clears throat> there she is. So, oh, I have to stop that. I always forget to put the um, other sound on. Now it should be okay. So, just get yourselves into a comfortable position. Look at the sistrum that she's holding there and the cobra at her brow. Sort of an Egyptian version of a third eye. Focus on your breath. In Egypt, Bast, the cat-headed goddess, and Sekhmet, the lion-headed goddess, represented two powerful aspects of the sun. The life-giving, pleasurable aspect and the burning, destroying aspect. Bast was worshipped at Bubastis, where vast celebrations were held. She ruled pleasure, joy, music, dance, health and healing, the moon, and of course, cats. Bast bats at you with her paw to urge you to come and play with her. It's time to divert yourself with something that is amusing, fun, and totally recreational. So her poem <clears throat> play. I swirl and twirl. I hide and seek, romping and ranging, funning and frolicking. My opportunities for self-amusement are endless. And the pleasure that it gives me makes me purr. Life's challenges never stop me for I know how to hold myself with play. Mm. 
<clears throat> so breathe deep into that place within. As you breathe, I remembered that this is how we used to go into goddess meditation. It's been gone for a while, but I'm bringing it back. So find yourself sitting on a place in the earth, a place that is a place of comfort and sanctuary for you. And as you find yourself in that place, allow yourself to connect with the earth beneath you, the earth that supports you. And somewhere, somewhere in this place that you sit, you see that there is also the element of water <clears throat> and it may be that you sit by a pond or a sacred well or a lake or an ocean or a stream wherever it is find yourself sitting in this place and being aware of the earth beneath you and the water in front of you. Being aware of that solid foundation and the ebb and flow. The waves or current or even the gentle stillness of the water. Bring your awareness as well to the expanse of sky above your head. And as you look up into that sky, just be aware of how it shows up. Is it day? Is it night? Is it clear? Is it cloudy? Is it stormy? There is such an expansive perspective looking up to sky. And in this place, holding this place where land, sea, and sky come together, as you take another deep breath, Open your eyes in this place to see the goddess past before you. And allow yourself to follow her call. Whether that is into journey or into dialogue. Take some time with the goddess Bast.
to slowly start the journey back. Take some time to focus once more on your breath and spending some last moments in meditation with Bast, being open to any final insights, any final messages and taking some time to thank her for the reflections and for the journey. As you focus on your breath, bringing awareness to the exhale, as you follow the flow of that breath to bring you back into the space in which you are. Know that with each breath you release the sky, you release the sea, you release the land, you release being in that place of sanctuary and come back to conscious awareness, to the here and now, to this place in which you sit. When you're ready, open up your eyes. And we're still recording. Holding space for all of those out in Zoom land. So, take a moment, gather your thoughts. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm. So that was lovely. It was lovely to connect with um, with Bast. I'm very aware that um, it's been a very busy uh, couple of weeks. Well, certainly last week. Um, I loved that it was reflecting her solar nature um, and uh, being appropriate to coming out of the summer solstice. And uh, just been working very hard on a number of things, and particularly because we're getting ready to go away on Friday to Cardiff for the weekend. So it felt like that nod from um, Bast saying, let go, enjoy. We're going to um, see Sting at Cardiff Castle. And um, so it really just is about play. And there was this sense that I had as I was connecting with that, that, you know, there's this importance to play, is having this, um, this awareness of the spectrum where on one side of it, there's just, you know, work and busy and there's things that need to be done because there's things that need to be done and the opposite end of that spectrum was letting go of that completely and that that's not play, that's letting go of everything completely, right? That's disengagement. That play felt like it landed in the center of that between, you know, doing so much or doing nothing is play, which is still engaged. She says in her poem, like she's, you know, frolicking and jumping and batting and um, it's play, it's engagement, it's being engaged in life, but without this 
sense of perhaps seriousness, without, without attachment, without a goal, but just being in the moment, you know, pure presence of engagement is play. And it struck me as well that there's a lot of things I can do to keep my energy up. Or there's things I can I can do of not doing, like sleep. Okay, I need my energy up, so I'm just going to do nothing. But again, in the center, play restores us. It rejuvenates us. It brings the energy back. And, and we feel energized to be able to bring that into other aspects in our life as well. So, um, so play started to feel reflected from her. It started to feel like a deeply important, deeply spiritually important um, thing to bring into our lives. So... So oh, my Zoomland friends, breathe in a welcome to Bast. And because I will be, you know, hanging out with Sting <laughs> um, on my way back next Monday. So we actually will be hanging out with Bast for a couple of weeks. Um, I haven't got the date in my head, but not next Monday, but the Monday after that. We will see you again and uh, meet with another goddess. So thank you for sharing this space and we will see you in a couple of weeks.